Hi people of the VC, Andy back for another round of three random records. It's been a couple of weeks since I, I did one of these actually. Um, part of the reason being is the three, two, well, two of the three numbers that were chosen this time are, are records that um, I'm not that excited about. So it's been trying to uh, build up the um, enthusiasm uh, to do this, but um, needs must. I mean, the, the fickle finger of fate uh, leads us in all directions and this time it's not in in the best musically if you ask me but you make up your own mind I'm going to show I'm going to show you three random records um, all my records are numbered between 1 and 150 so these are records I've not shown previously pretty much them all in the 80s hard rock heavy metal uh, category it could be LP singles uh, 10 inches picture discs shaped picture discs whatever all kinds of stuff um, I ask after each episode that you, you leave a number down below uh, between 1 and 150 and um, if I pick your number you're in the next video I'll give you a shout out and I'll show you a record that corresponds to the number you picked. Right without further ado let's get this one over and done with. <coughs> okay first up uh, this was um, number 56 um, which was chosen by uh, Harmless Rebel, Steve. So thanks for for um, giving me a number to, to work with, uh, Steve. Um, unfortunately, it's not. I mean, you may like this album. I mean, it's all down to opinions at the end of the day. But um, so David Lee Roth, uh, Skyscraper, 1988. This is a UK pressing on Warner Brothers. Um, so since this is one of my original collections from the 80s. Um, I used to quite enjoy it at the time. Um, I've not played this since. Um, so I played it last night actually for the first time in a very very long time. Uh, I mean I've had a, a record player and I've been collecting uh, records again for um, about 18 months now and in that time I haven't felt the need to give this a spin. But before each of these records, I like to re-familiarise myself. Uh, easy for you to say. Um, uh, so I gave this a, a, a play last night, and um, yeah, I struggled to get through the whole thing. It's um, very sugar-coated, sweet um, pop rock, um, saved only a bit by... Um, you know, Steve Vai's uh, guitar contribution, but I have to say as much, I like, don't get me wrong, I like Eat Him and Smile, I really like that album, I mean, if I'm going to, if I'm ever in the mood for a, to listen to a bit of David Lee Roth, I'll listen to Eat Him and Smile and, and, and not this one, um, but I'm surprised given that Steve Vai co-produced this, that um, he he just doesn't seem to have the same sort of presence as he did on, on the previous album, I don't know, maybe he was getting tired of this as well but the songs aren't, aren't that great there's a lot of kind of slow um, almost poppy uh, songs highlights um, hot dog and a shake I mean that's catchy um, perfect timings not bad um, well, I'm struggling damn good isn't um, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to show it. It's part of my collection. It's part of my 80s original, so I'll always have it. I'll always keep it. But uh, the inner sleeve with lyrics. Uh, one custom label that side. Uh, just a track listing. Final's in pretty good shape. But I haven't really got much more to to say on this one, although uh, it was fairly late when I listened to this last night and um, I didn't want to go to bed with this the last thing that was uh, uh, that I listened to the night before so I had to kind of calm down the post rough sugar rush with a, a bit of uh, bit of testament before I went to sleep so um, yeah and that worked. Okay so thanks uh, Steve Harmless Rebel. Um, for that so um, I'll put a link to Steve's channel below I think most people probably know him by now uh, show some um, some great uh, metal uh, of all kinds um, regular uh, contributor lots of uh, 
uh, CDs and and, uh, and records as well. So, uh, great channel. I love watching his videos. Uh, check him out. Okay, next up, um, Christian Luna. Thank you for selecting number 27. Um, obviously, when you guys select the numbers, you have no idea what record they um, they relate to. And in fact, I don't have I don't have much of a clue until I actually look it up because I allocated all the records, all, all the numbers to the records randomly uh, to start with. But um, yeah, another record that uh, I don't play. So in fact, I've not played this one again. Um, since I uh, originally had it back in in '88, uh, this is MOD, the method of destruction, uh, surfing MOD. This is from 1988. It's a it's a US pressing, so it must have been on import uh, that I bought it. Uh, it's uh, it's it's not sealed, but it's still in the the, the shrink. This is on uh, Megaforce. Um, it's 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 a parody album. I mean, there's no um, there's no disguising that. I mean, the the hype stick is still on here. Thirty minutes of mayhem, rated F for fun, for only six dollars ninety eight. Um, it's it's cool cover. All about the cover. Um, when when I was seventeen, I I thought this was great. I thought this was hilarious. Um, but. Um, I don't anymore. Um, it's not that funny. Um, in fact, no, I have, I have actually played this. Yeah, I did play it. Um, probably over a year ago now. Um, and yeah, that, it, it, that's what made me make up my mind that it wasn't uh, a, a good album by any means. So it's split into, I mean, the, 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 two, the two sides. The, the side A is the movie side, and it's like a, uh, it's, it's like a, a piss take on a on, on a, a, a movie, a surf movie, there's dialogue between the songs. There's only about, what, seven songs in total on the album. Uh, but each of these is a, between them, there's kind of a, a cut scene and, um, with some really bad acting. Now, whether it's probably supposed to be bad voice acting, but um, it just got <coughs> great now. And on the B side is the soundtrack side. Uh, without the movie, and that's just the, the songs that are straight, but the songs are poor. Um, Billy Milano didn't necessarily have a, a lot of great moments, and this to me rates fairly low amongst those. Anyway, um, yeah, so um, I checked up on, on Discogs to see what kind of um, money this goes for, and it's, it's still going for, in the UK, about Ten pound, and I certainly wouldn't pay that much for it. It must still hold a bit of novelty value for people. I don't know whether they um, try and uh, they're happy to pay that much for it because it's it's an eighties uh, novelty record, and they're probably disappointed when they actually hear it. But we've got the original uh, lyric sheet, and there's only actually lyrics for three of the songs: "Surfs Up," "Mr. Ufus," and "Party Animal." The thing on the back. And the it's on playing back vinyl, but the uh, the labels are pretty cool. I mean, they're quite nice. Same on the other side, but um, yeah, I probably will never play this again unless somebody came around and they really wanted to to hear it. But again, part of my original uh, '80s um, collection from when I was a teenager, so. Um, I'll never part with it. It'll just uh, it'll sit on the shelf. Okay, so thank you, uh, Christian, uh, for that. Again, there'll be a link down to, to Christian's uh, channel. He's uh, again, he shows he's a regular contributor, and he shows a number of his uh, his collection of videos are quite good because you get to see uh, uh, a whole chunk of uh, CDs or uh, vinyl from um, uh, a single artist. So check out his channel as well. Um, and finally, um, number 122, uh, selected by uh, Noise Spectrum. So, Lee, thank you uh, for that. I've saved the best for last, or my personal favourite out of these three uh, for last. Um, and number 122 is uh, Wasp, Inside the Electric Circus. Uh, 
another UK pressing, 1986, uh, on Capitol Records. Um, sleeve and inner and everything is near mint, um, but um, the the few few crackles on the records. It uh, even after cleaning it up, there's a uh, a few a couple of hairline scratches that that uh, are audible. Certainly on um, the the opening track inside the electric circus, but not not to take it away from the enjoyment of the album. I mean, this is one of my this is the third Wasp album. Um, they started to get a bit more serious, I think, about the music they were putting out, and um, I think it's evident in uh, some of the tracks here. Um, a big welcome. I, I love the opening to this album. Um, just sort of like a circus music and the. Um, the guy started knocking a uh, welcome, and uh, I'm not going to quote it. Um, but that's kind of it's one of those um, sounds that kind of sends a shiver down my spine and reminds me of of uh, what it was like when I was about 15 when this came out. And um, and I had it on. Um, I didn't own an original copy. I had it taped off somebody. Probably taped off a tape off a a bad. Um, uh, uh, or, or a, a bad vinyl copy because it's um, the whole big welcome part was really crackly even on the uh, the, the tape as well. Um, but I've always liked this this album. Um, it was only recently that I found out there was two uh, cover versions on the. I, I never knew. I just assumed at the time and uh, throughout until recently until I got another copy and started reading up on. Um, online um, about the history of some of the, the records that I own that um, both I Don't Need No Doctor and Easy Living are both covers. Uh, Easy Living is not a song I'm that familiar with anyway. Uh, it's a Uriah Heep uh, song but um, I Don't Need No Doctor. Now um, first of all I'm surprised that the songs you know as old as um, from 1966 so Ray Charles did an original of this, and um, it, it, it's 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 the same song, but um, it's it's a lot slower. Um, but so it's listenable, it's good. Um, and then uh, Humble Pie, a Humble Pie, a great um, UK band from the early seventies, mostly underrated, but um, fantastic, you know, hard rock uh, sound, um, quite heavy as well. Um, and they did a version in uh, 71, the year I was born. And um, uh, I'll, I'll put a link to the Ray Charles version, the Humble Pie version, if I can find one to the Wasp version, I'm sure there's one in there. I'll put all three down below, and uh, if you've got the time or can be bothered, um, have a quick listen to all three and um, you know, make up your mind which one do you think is the best. I think Wasp make it their own here, and I always think of it as a Wasp song, but the the humble pie version. Um, I think that, that clearly influenced them to 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 have a go at, uh, at that track and put it on one of their albums because it's uh, it's it's fairly close, um, very very cool. Um, but other songs on here. So inside the electric circus, I don't need the doctor. In fact, the whole first side is is also ninety five nasty shoot from the hip. Um, yeah, it, it, great. Um, the only, uh, I guess, the one thing that always makes me chuckle is the the, the last track, uh, the rock rolls on, is uh, the final lyrics are forever never stop um, before the, the the track stops, which is uh, makes me makes me chuckle. So here's the inner sleeve in perfect condition with the lyrics, and I have to be careful because they'll fall out because this one goes printed upside down. Uh, with the band, so this is this is actually the first album that um, Blackie uh, Lawless plays uh, rhythm guitar on. So Johnny Rods joined the band, replacing I. Um, I it's gone. I've forgotten. I think I can remember this. I'll I'll try to put that this, but uh, yeah, nice uh, tiger or wasp. We are the tiger, I guess, the circus. Um, but yeah, I, I really, really like this album. It's one of my favourite uh, Wasp albums and uh, brings back a lot of memories. Okay, that's it. That's uh, 
today's uh, three random records. I actually uh, uh, still looking for numbers. I have enough numbers for um, uh, uh, another episode of this, and they're all they're three cracking albums actually. So I'm probably going to get that one out in a uh, in uh, a few days. Um, but um, I just need the numbers uh, to to keep coming. So if you if you've if you've not dropped a number before, just drop a number in the comments. If you if you have, and I've not already said that you you're going to be um, geared up for um, uh, the, the next episode, I've, I've dropped that in the comments for the last one. Then you know, throw some numbers at me, and I'll let you know which episode I can I can uh, I'll I'll show them in. Um, I'm keeping a, a list of them all. Um, anyway, hope you enjoy those three. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, give me a subscribe if you if you haven't and you want to. Uh, give me a like if you liked. Um, don't give me a like if you didn't. Alright, thank you. That's a lot. Bye.